Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Darius from ArtistShortcut.com, and today I want to show you kind of how to build a fan base if you're a rapper in hip hop. So, a lot of artists they understand that you have to make music, and they understand that you have to, you know, promote the music, and you have to, you know, you have to make something that people like. They understand that part, but they don't understand like how to build a community. So that's kind of what I want to show you today. So you do not want to tell people to listen to your music. So like. You're trying to build a fan base, right? You're out here, you're you're out, you're talking to people, you know, you're having a conversation. And the first thing that pops in your head is like, let me tell them I make music so they can go check out my music. But it's like, music is not the deciding factor between them actually becoming a fan. Like, they can, they can still like the music and don't want to become a fan. Like, they don't like you. So it's like, what you need to do is kind of like, just relax, build a build a relationship with these people have a normal conversation and you know down the road as that relationship develops like people become curious like you're you'll become such a good friend to someone that they'll be like you know kind of what do you do and they'll support you for you not because of your music but because of you they're a fan of you and i think that's a that's a much better way to to go about it than actually saying hey check out my music check out my music check out my music another thing you want to do is uh you want to give people a reason to support you. So a lot of artists, like, they go out and they want people to, to become fans and support them, but they don't have anything to support at all. So as a fan, if I if I want to be your fan, I'm making an investment in you. So I'm making an investment using my time, using my reputation, because if I, if I say I listen to your music to someone else, I don't want to be embarrassed because, you know, you're either an asshole or you're just you're arrogant or you don't work hard. Like I don't want to I don't want to put my reputation on the line if you're, you know, like that reputation isn't safe with you. And then at the end of the day, like I might buy your music. So that's me investing my money. So you want to give your fans or potential fans something to to actually support. You want to show them that you're working, you're doing the work necessary. You're making connections with people that actually can make something happen for you and not just out here blindly check out my music. I'm a rapper, uh, sign me or whatever, because that at the end of the day, like that's not a, that's not a strategy that I don't want to support you. If you do that, you're just like everyone else. Another thing is to be active and be seen. So like a good place for you to start to actually build a fan base is in your, just your local community, everywhere around you, because it's like those are the people that you can kind of relate to the most. Like you have a lot in common with these people. It's easy for you to go to a, an event or, you know, some type of release and just talk to people. And the, the thing is, the more you're seen at events, because the same people tend to go to these events over and over again. You'll see similar artists. You'll see similar, you know, people just hanging out, similar entourage. And the more you, you go to these events, the more you'll be seen. People will become serious like, or I shouldn't say serious, but they'll become curious of you. So they'll see you like, who is this guy? You know, he's, I just seen him the other day, or I just seen him at the last event. You know, who is he? And then people become curious of you. And then we have the internet now. So people are just gonna, they're gonna Google you if they know your name. They're going to, you know, see if you're tweeting, see if, you know, you're tweeting about the event, if you're, you're posting anything, or they might just take a picture of you seriously and just ask their, you know, their social media, just like, hey, like, who is this guy? And, you know, you can start building a lot of relationships that way just by being seen and being active. And those relationships can eventually lead you to having more fans. And and another thing, man, if you build relationships, you'll you'll have this, uh, you'll basically, it's like a technique. So the thing is, when you associate yourself with someone else, that is, it doesn't matter if they're, you know, more popular than you, less popular than you, whatever. When you associate yourself with someone else, then their fans becomes your fans because they now support you because you're with the person that they support. So it's like, you know, it's, it's almost like, um, like if you have any friends and your friends have a mute, like they have a friend, their friend becomes your friend because your friend is their friend. That sounds a little confusing. Another way to put it is when it comes to products, like in the, just in the market, if I release a product and it's brand new, if I put that product and I bundle it alongside something that you already know and love, then you instantly associate my new product 
with the same value and the same uh, quality as the product you know and love because they're both bundled together. And it, you know, it's a good marketing technique, and that's that's kind of what happens. So you want to make sure that uh, you know, you're out here, you're being seen, you're being active, and you're just you're building relationships. Another thing is to support other artists. So if you see an artist, or you see a DJ, or you see really, I shouldn't even say support any artist or other artists. Support anybody that you that are that is in this, you know, your industry, the hip hop, the just music industry in general. So go to their events, man. Promote some of their songs on on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever. You know what I mean? Buy some of their merch or, you know, some of their music or whatever and just overall support them. Even if you just send them a message like, hey, or email like, hey, I support you, man. Like I love what you're doing. I appreciate it, man. Like keep it up. Just that support alone makes other people want to support you. So if other people support you just off of that, you know, you showing that support first, just, yo, like if you like something that somebody's doing, support it. Just be a man or be a woman and, yo, just support it, man. And um, I know I talk about a lot about how like music isn't that important to becoming a successful artist. And I still stand by that completely. But, yo, you cannot be putting out bad music. You know, I've got some emails where people are like, hey, like, I know music isn't that important. I've read, you know, this article that you wrote on artistshortcut.com, and I know you feel the same way. Like, I've just been releasing tons of music. You know, I haven't been putting that much effort into it. And, yo, you need to release good music. So your music actually needs to be good. So it doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be the next hit, but it needs to connect with the audience that you're trying to reach. And that's another thing. If your music is good and you're you're trying to build a fan base, like it makes it so much easier because when people listen to your music after they're they're being curious, they look you up and then they listen to your music, you now become a little bit more like authoritative. You become a little bit more uh you have more credibility. And they're like, "Wow, you know, did you hear such and such or dude that was at this event? Like he got some nice songs. Like you should check him out." And your fan base will build a lot quicker. You know, and um yeah, just be patient. Like, it takes time. I see a lot of artists, they're trying to shortcut that uh, success, which is kind of like, a, you know, the irony of my site is artist shortcut. But you're not actually, like, shortcutting the work. Like, don't shortcut the work. Shortcut the bullshit that you see people talking about or you, you see others following. Shortcut that, but do not shortcut the actual work involved. So, it takes time. You know, you might build one fan and then you might build another fan and then it might take you a whole month before you get five fans. But I guarantee you that next month, getting that same five, getting another five fans will be probably half as, you know, half as quick or it should be twice as fast, I should say, as getting the first five sets. And then that doubles and doubles and doubles or I should say it speeds up and speeds up and eventually you know, your five fans a day turns into a thousand fans a day, which then turns into 10,000 fans a day. And it just, it compounds. So put in the work day by day and, you know, over time it, it works. So that's, uh, you know, that's kind of how you build your fan base as a, as a rapper in hip hop. Um, if you want like more information in depth about this and some of the examples and photos and all that stuff, just, uh, click the link in the description because that's the full article nicely formatted and uh yeah it's a lot more information than i talk about here and yeah if you can do me a favor share the video thumbs up the video share thumbs up share thumbs up and if you have any questions or anything just leave a comment below and uh yeah i'll get to it as soon as possible oh yeah subscribe too because subscribe is very important subscribe actually might be the most important so subscribe all right guys this is Darius from artistshortcut.com and i'm out